Bonafide Hustler here, and today it's just another vlog that I'm opening up. So we'll see what we sell, we'll see what we find, and yeah, let's go. What's going on guys and gals, Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of Super Small Spaceship. Got some things to do this morning. Well, first thing is to work out, so we're gonna get some bod damn stuff going down. Um, but yeah, got to uh, ship off something that's in that box. A $5 pair of mountaineering boots sold for 100 bucks, so that's what was in the box. I dropped that off at UPS. Don't forget to follow me at the Bonafide Hustler on Instagram. And uh, you can also get the free guide. It's the first link down below. It'll teach you 50 items that you can buy and resell and look for when you're out there in thrift stores and garage sales. You should check it out. Among other things, we have to go pick up some cool things that I prepaid for from Facebook Marketplace and Nextdoor. That's gonna happen after the workout. And then we also have some things that I'm gonna go drop off at the booth. One of those things I found the other day. It, it, I don't think it made it on a vlog. Two of those things, actually, I don't think made it on a vlog. So, busy day ahead, guys. Make sure you hit the like button early, like early. I usually ask for this like way later in the video, but let's get that like button smashed right now. It's a really rainy day. Just chilling in here uh, on my way to go pick up a pair of weights that I bought yesterday. So, gonna go do that. I paid that through Venmo and I caught that ad within about 20 minutes or so. So, first stop is go to a town that is north of Boston to pick up some weights. Found it on Facebook Marketplace. Great deal and uh, great weights. You'll see. I arrived at the house and the weights are right there. Let's go get them. All right, a pair of power block dumbbells. Still pretty good shape, you know? Look awesome, I bought them for a hundred bucks. Usually you can flip these for around two to three hundred dollars pretty quickly. Adjustable dumbbells sell really well. So whether it be this or the Bowflex ones or any of those other ones called gym ones, they're all good. Let's rage and flip these guys. Next stop was this guy's house, picked up two bikes there's the second one right there when i get out of the car i'll show them to you all right at the booth and going to drop off some of the stuff that's right here let's see we have some really awesome two-toned custom cowboy boots from dallas texas they're in great condition i mean look at that right so asking 150 for these i paid 20 for them look at this awesome denim coat that's like super red this denim coat is great right Acid washed, real nice looking. Asking 100 bucks for this, this was uh, $11 at a Savers just the other day. Here are the two bikes right here, by the way. They're Trek 7000s, they're hybrids. Uh, I think each one is probably worth about 250 to 300, and I paid $100 a piece for these bikes. So, really nice condition, barely any use. So, I'm all about those bikes to bucks. But, and of course, from the last vlog, we're gonna be putting this X West Canton bag in the booth. Right, the drawstring bag like that, that's going in the booth right now. I'm asking about 100 bucks in the booth for this. And that was like 12 or 13 bucks from a Goodwill. All right, the booth is looking super good. Look at all this awesome stuff I have in here. Look at all this cool stuff. Yeah. Time to drop these baby wipes off at this UPS store. No, there's like a pair of hiking boots in here. This is just the best box I could figure out. Am I a weirdo for putting something in a baby wipe box? It's a good box. Just because it says baby wipes, I mean, come on. So yeah, there was like, I think there were five bucks at a garage sale and they sold for a hundred. I was asking like 170, but they stayed in my store for quite a while. So I was like, eh, when I got the hundred dollar offer, I just took it. You gotta try to churn and burn that old money too, so. All right, let's get that one in. Thanks, man. Thanks, I believe I still have to wear a mask in those places. Crazy. How's it in your hometown? You gotta wear a mask everywhere? Let me know, thrift stores, when you go to garage sales here in Austin, it just seems like it's really few and far between, like very rare. But I realize other cities might not be like this, you know? So I'm at this thrift store. This is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. Look at the back of it. Oh my gosh. And the price has my head spinning. It's unfortunate. I can't buy it for that price, but it is super cool. All right, so I'm walking away from this Goodwill. You can see behind me and uh, popped on this mirror right here. Now, it is actually a plastic edged mirror, but I need mirrors in my booth all the time. But yeah, this one right here is plastic. I'm going to take a stab on this. It's an oval mirror, and I uh, paid 
paid like 16 bucks for it and I'm gonna post it in the booth for between 60 and 80 bucks, something like that. Like I said before, I just have to make sure that there's always some sort of gold mirror in my booth for sale. I sold one last week. I think I bought it for like 20 bucks. Ended up, they netted, netted me on the check like 85 or something like that. So yeah, I gotta always make sure there's some sort of gold mirror in the booth at all times. All right, so we're behind the antique booth. And I'm gonna show you some things I'm gonna put in there today. I actually went to garage sales last week. I just didn't film. Found some really cool things. Uh, this was like a dollar. This is a military wood box. Very neat looking. Side of it looks like that. Asking about 80 bucks in the booth for this. Got some rope handles on the side. People love these kind of things, decor in houses. And believe it or not, even movie production companies come to antique malls to find things to use as props for their movies. So that's not uncommon to have movie people come to the booths and just buy a bunch of stuff. Anyway, be asking 80 bucks for this. Got that mirror right there that's gonna go in. Gonna be asking about, I think, uh, 60 to 80 for that one. Um, not quite a vintage shirt, but a vintage looking shirt of Vegas right here, Las Vegas. This was found at garage sales last uh, weekend. Pretty neat. I'll be asking about 20 for that shirt. It's a light kind of purplish kind of shirt. It is made by Wild Fable, but stuff like this can still make it in the booth because it has that vintage look to it. This is a screen printed, I think, Fruit of the Loom. Really neat shirt, check this out. Believe Bigfoot shirt, pretty cool, huh? It says Believe down there. Anyway, I'll be asking about 20 bucks for this. Um, possibly more, I don't know, I might keep it. I'm gonna walk into the mall with this shirt, but I might decide to come out with it too, I don't know, we'll see. And I got this Crown Royal kind of pouring piece right here, so you know, you put uh, adult beverages in here and then you just pour it down that way. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Spent five bucks on a garage sale for this. Gonna be putting it in the booth for 60 today. Okay, the little military box is gonna go here. Put the Crown Royal thing right there. The two shirts are chilling right here. I'm gonna put this mirror right here. Pretty cool. I do have another mirror in the booth, but it's not a gold one, so we need to have a gold one in the booth at all times. All right, I'm in a Goodwill, and I'm about to go home, but I decided to pass by here first. Look at this Kyosho Viper, $3.29. Vintage RC boat, super cool. Probably worth about 100 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. Total buy right here. RC to bucks, baby. Total freaking buy. Back in the body of the garage or the Bonafide Hustle garage, depending on how you want to look at it. There's a bike problem in this garage right now. Okay, well, we'll talk about that later. But something we have to talk about right now is these Burton uh, snowboard pants from the previous video sold. You know, the one with the tape seams. Let me show you the tape seams. See, they're taped. Gotta get that in here. These sold for 80 bucks. I picked them up for around 10 at a good will. Oh yeah, here's a closer look at that Viper that I picked up earlier. Pretty nice little boat. You know, to most people, they wouldn't think anything of this, but you know, if you know about RCs to bucks, you would know that this is a pretty awesome vintage hobby grade boat. So I'm gonna take off the little thing here. And now we have sealed servos and there's really cool motor chilling right there. The battery obviously goes over there, over the Velcro. Takes one battery, looks like that. Transmitters wrapped in plastic under the plastic. And uh, yeah. This is how water doesn't get into the servos, so. And it also has a mechanical kind of ESC for all you techie uh, people out there. You can kind of see it right there. Okay, but that's pretty awesome. Kyosho motor, really nice uh, boat. Awesome graphics, $3.29 today. Pretty sweet. All right, we're on the next day. Time to sell this bike right here. It's one of the bikes that I bought for a hundred bucks. Listed for 350 within a day. Someone's looking at it. And they're actually here right now, they're behind my truck. All right, they're putting the bike, they're putting the bike in the truck right now. Here's the money. I mean, transaction maybe took two or three minutes. Pretty good. Uh, maybe should have priced it a little higher. I don't know, but you know, making 250 on a bike first thing in the morning, it's pretty good. I'll take that all day. All right, so I sold that bike. That was amazing, good profit right there. Uh, that was a Trek 7000 aluminum. I bought two of them for 200 bucks, sold one of them just today for 350, so that's a pretty good profit. Um, I'm going to also go get something with that money. You know, the most important thing you can do when you get paid from hustles is to reinvest. And uh, I found something today that I'm definitely gonna reinvest into. And it's right here, I'll show you. 
These mid-century modern shares, there's five of them for 125, but I offered 100, and it's time to go pick these up with the SUV. I'm gonna throw them right in the booth today. I arrived at the house, and we're gonna get these chairs in here. Then we're gonna go. Uh, then we're gonna go to the booth, drop them off. Got them in there. Those are the chairs right there. Apparently, they were used in the University of Texas, like back in the 70s. So they're pretty cool looking. You can see. So I'm just gonna drop them off at the booth right now. Probably ask one to 120 a piece. So I got the tags right here, which I'll fill out, and then yeah, one to 120. Drop them off right now. I'm in. All right, we're back in the booth, and this is where I put the chairs. They're really in good condition. A little bit of wear on the side right here, but it's not really a big deal. These are really cool. Check it out. Check me out. But yeah, these are really neat. Love it. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Hey, you look familiar. Oh, you really look familiar. All right, so we're a couple of days down the road, and I found a couple things today, nothing crazy. I wanna show them to you before I end this video. First thing, this amazing Janssen sweater. Look at the colors on this thing. Super neat, $3.50 at a thrift store. It was a half off on a men's rack. Very nice, I'll put this in the booth. I'll be asking about 50, 60 bucks for it. And I'll probably get it. It's a neat, neat, almost Freddy Krueger-ish looking, but not quite Freddy Krueger-ish, you know? Pretty cool. Also got this today at a Savers. This was $7. And little things like this, this little buckaroo sign, would sell for around 50, possibly even 60 bucks in my booth. Um, yeah, it is at a Savers. Looks like it's just been, you know, printed over, but it's nice. Someone's gonna buy this for their little kid, throw it in the room, and uh, just justify it right there. In fact, this thing was actually originally purchased in Santa Fe, New Mexico. So that's a good sign. It doesn't say like Kirkland's or anything crazy like that, like Hobby Lobby or anything like that. It just means it's something that people probably won't see every day, which is nice. There we go, the finds from today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna get it edited and out to you guys. So if you enjoy this kind of stuff, make sure you hit the like button. The more likes I see, the more comments I see, the more I want to film. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Goodbye. <laughs>